Groovy TV. This is where it all happens. Come and see it live right now, right here. America's latest, greatest traditions. Bold, up front, and in your face. I'm the Enigma, and here we are with Groovy. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Thank you, sir. You got it. Hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with the Enigma here at the Mile High Horror Film Festival, Denver, Colorado. How the heck are you, sir? I'm doing great. Zombies are eating my brains. <laughs> and what else are they eating? Oh, uh, you know, they're eating all the rest of the parts, too. They just keep eating and eating and eating and eating and eating. Do they season the meat at all? I think it's because the food is so darn good here. You know, I had my best, the best brain eating experience I've ever had in my life. is right here at the Alamo Draft House. I got to tell you, it's fantastic. They said it was lamb, but no. Um, anyway, but you got to come on down. They've got all kinds of great treats. The food here is fantastic. The movies are fantastic. It's comfortable. It's wonderful. It's everything you could possibly dream. We got all the artists. We've got all these signature artists too. It's incredible. People from the films are down here. They're signing autographs. They're taking photos with people. You can live the dream. I'm living the dream right now because I'm with the Enigma. Or Nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, as you, as you will, so it shall be. All right, what are you working on now these days, dude? What's happening? Well, I don't know if you checked it out, but right now we got, you know, the comic book number one. Not too many left. Oh my gosh, that's what the film's going to be based on. We got comic book number two. There it is over there. Yeah, we're, we're really relieved it came out. And, of course, the patches, a nice little signature. Limited supply made in USA, as everything on our table is. And, of course, uh, I got to tell you, man, um, that we don't repeat a trick. There's not a single time they're going to reprint any of this stuff. This is it. This is all we make. This is it now. You get it here. We sign it. We love you. Kisses, smooches, the works. <laughs> will you kiss everyone who comes in the front door? Oh, my gosh. What, I, whether or not they came I, here for you I or not? I practically do. But uh, <laughs> some of them bend over. Some I just have to kiss them square on the face. But, you know, it's all good. Uh, you know, sometimes you get a little bit of tongue. And sometimes you can just keep it. Like, you just swallow it down. But I like the brains the best. It's a great, the best brain experience right here. You know... It's a, uh, it's like that joke, you know, a zombie walks in a bar, bartender says, what do you have? Zombie says, brains. Come on, oh, come on. It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. No All right, man, tell me about your show, because you're doing three shows a day here, right? Yes, I'm doing three shows a day. I've got a show on the inside uh, early on, and then i got a show in the afternoon outside. When on the inside there. of you, there's a show? Well, the, uh, the inside of the, the, the auditorium. And then on the outside, because the chainsaw, you know, and the exhaust. But, you know, I'm still doing the fire. I'm doing the swords, the neons, all the grinder, all that stuff. Different acts, different bits, you know, three different bits throughout the whole day. And people are really digging it. I oh, mean, yeah. it, you know, to have an actual chainsaw with the blade running live here and somebody's doing something with it, that's what they want to see. I mean, there may not be a zombie thrown in, but, you know, an apple can replace that. And, uh, and, and you know, they got the stars and they got chainsaws. No problem. It's nothing, nothing finer, I tell you. If, if there was a zombie apocalypse, would it be the chainsaw your main weapon? Well, to tell you the truth, I gotta say the chainsaw, it has a problem with clothes. Mm. Yeah, they get bound up in the chain. Uh, so that's just not, that's bad. You know, I follow Max Brooks on that. You know, the sword is the way to go, and I've got those, <laughs> so I'm good. You've actually got multiples. You can just behead people left and right. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Well, you know, we take care of business. You're like a zombie lawnmower. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. You know, so what's coming up in the future for you, man? Um, what are you working on? Uh, well, right now I'm working on the album, uh, Death Devils. That's with threes for E's. Dot com, if you will. It's going to be, uh, well, the two things that butt heads all the time are techno and hardcore. Or, I mean, death metal. So, uh... We're going to run them two together and, uh, and make uh, techno death metal. <laughs> Is there going to be any dubstep in there? Yeah, we might dub it up a bit, trance it out a little bit, you know, expand it. We're going to make sure that people are really uncomfortable because that's where we love to be. We're comfortable with our uncomfortability. <laughs> uh, can I have a hug? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so while you're hugging me, can you give me an example of techno death metal? Perfect. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. This is Groovy. We're here at the Mile High Horror Film Festival with the Enigma. Check out all his stuff. It's amazing. He's a rad dude. Check out his shows. So what's your website? Showdevils.com. Sweet. Bye bye. Daniel Crozier. Daniel Crozier. Hi, Daniel Crozier. Oh, that's not. <laughs> <laughs>